In this video, we will be talking about the 25 inch design rule. And this is simply taking two riser heights and one tread depth measurement and adding them together to see if you can be between 24 and 26 inches or one inch away from 25 inches. So don't bother asking me why they don't call it the between the 24 and 26 rule for designing a comfortable stairway for most people to walk up and down. And for those of you who have watched my channel for a long time, you might have seen the 17 and a half inch rule. And that would be when you add the depth of the tread to the height of the riser. And you can see here, if we do that, we have 17 and a half inches. This is a comfortable stair step for most people. Here's another comfortable stair step for most people. And if we add these numbers together, we're going to get 25 and a half inches. Here's another one that will add up to 24 and a half inches and another comfortable stair step for most people. And for those of you wondering who most people might be, that would be the average sized person. And even though I don't have those exact heights, I would be guessing those measurements would be somewhere between five and six feet. Because this stairway is not going to be comfortable for someone who is three foot tall or someone who might be over seven foot tall. And now to provide you with a few reasons why this formula isn't always going to work. And that would be if we had a situation like this. Because even though this provides us with a fairly comfortable stairway to use, it might not be as comfortable as the ones I just showed you. And definitely not as comfortable as this one here, where we have a small step and a tall riser height. So what should you do with the 25 inch rule for designing stairways? I would simply suggest using it if you have a riser height between six and eight inches, or if you have a tread depth between 10 and 12 inches. And it works within the maximum and minimum building code measurements in your area, which would also fall into the category of most of the stair step measurements you're going to find on a stairway anyway. However, I wouldn't use it for a situation like this or a situation like this. A situation like this, you're going to be taking two steps most of the time. And even though that might be comfortable for someone who has a difficult time raising their legs up this tall, maybe an older person, and let's not forget that you can design your stairway for the people who are going to be occupying the property. Just keep in mind that if that property is ever sold, it might not work for the next owner.